Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Steve. Welcome to another episode of Virtual Steam Time. Today we're going to be making coat hanger balance scales. These are really simple to make and they're fun to play with and they're educational too. So in order to make a coat, hail balance, coat hanger balance scale, all you need is a coat hanger, four yarn or string, Whichever length you want is fine. They just all have to be the same length. You also need a hole punch and two cups that are the same. Before we get started, it's important that you pick out the right kind of coat hanger. As you will see, the coat hanger that I've picked out has slats on it. These are there because they will hold the balance scale in place. So make sure that the coat hanger you pick out has these holes there. Also, You'll notice that this is a swinging top for the hanger part. That's not 100% necessary, but it does make it more versatile um, for you to hang it in more different places if it turns. Okay. First thing you're going to do is you're going to use your hole punch and poke two holes in each of the cups. I've already poked holes in this one, and as you can see, the holes are near the top and they're almost exactly across from each other. That's important for keeping it balanced. I will poke holes in this one. All right. And I'll show you how to do one of these strings. And I'll do the rest after. But all you do is put one part of the string in one of the holes and then make sure that they are even on the top. That's very important. And once you have them even, you can do a little tying. I usually make double knots. Okay, and then you just do that for all four. Once you've tied all four string on, it's important to make sure that they're even. So you want the cup to be as straight as possible. If, if one side's much higher than the other one, it makes it go like that. And it's a little trickier. It still can work, but it's best to have it close to even, so that one looks good. And then this one here, that looks good as well. Next is adding the cups to the coat hanger. So we have those slats here. You just take one of the sides that you tied and put it there. And you take the other side and put it on there too, like that. And you'll notice it's on there really well. Do that on the other side. Let me see. Okay, and as you can see, they are pretty close to even, so that's good. Now it's time for us to find a place to hang. I have found that chairs work really well for balance scales. Um, also, cabinet door handles work pretty well or just handles on a regular door that works well too but without having a top that's flexible like this one you couldn't use a chair because it would not be able to fit on here but this chair does a good job as you can see right now these are empty and they're even so what a balance scale does is it tells you what weighs more so for example I have this little blue block here and I have a rock which one do you think will weigh more? Let's put them in and find out. So as I put in the blue block, you see that this gets lower because there's something in it and it's heavier. And then I'll put the rock on the other side. Whoa. So you can see here that the rock is much lower than the block. That means the rock weighs more. You probably guessed that anyway. However, how many blocks do you think it would take to equal one rock in weight. Do you have a number? We're going to test it out. As I put more blocks in, you'll notice that this will get lower and this will get higher because the weight will be distributing differently. So that's two, three, four, Five. Are we at your number yet? 
six. It's getting close, sir. Seven. Eight. Let's see. Nine. It's ten. Yep, that looks like it's even. So what we just learned by this experiment is 10 of those blocks equals the same weight as one rock. Now you might be thinking about, there's a balance scale that we see at playgrounds all the time. It's a seesaw. Because as somebody weighs more on one side, the balance scale or the seesaw in this example goes down that way a little more because they weigh more. So that's where distributing weight goes that way. Now what's fun about this is you can experiment around the house. Maybe you can hold two different items in your hand, think which one you think weighs more, and then put one in this side of your scale and one on this side, and whichever one goes lower is weighs more. You might learn something about weight that you didn't know before. Okay, so I hope that you had fun watching this video. I hope that you get a chance to make some of these at home and find out what the different things in your house weigh and what weighs more. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching Virtual Steam Time. Bye.